One of the things we've been talking about today is how we actually empower the next generation of drug discovery for anti-infectives, particularly antibacterials. So the story that, that I've been telling from MMV is how we've actually empowered the next generation of malaria treatments and we talk about how that is useful in the context of antibacterials or other antiparasitic agents. So the short version is that over the last five years we've screened something like six million compounds from almost 20 companies and different universities uh, across the planet. And the arrangement we've had is to say we'll screen your compounds for you and you can own the data. And if it looks exciting then we'll tell you and then we can take the project forward. As a result of that, we were quite surprised because we screened against parasites. These days it's much cheaper to do that. Uh, we can do it for around a dollar a point, given the advantages in automation that we have. And as a result of that, we have some 30,000 hits that came out, and that completely surprised us. So we've been working with our, our chemists and uh, our groups throughout the world to optimize that. But one of the interesting things that comes out is these are compounds that actually get into the parasite and kill them. So we asked the question, can this be useful to other people? So what we've done is we've distilled those with chemoinformatics software. So basically picked out members of each family and put them out on plates. So you can buy a plate or actually get a plate for free from us uh, just from the website to test against your parasite. The reason this becomes interesting is that from this we should actually start to build up a picture of which scaffolds are killing which particular parasites, which infectious agent. The other thing that's really interesting is, of course, that we can do all of this in the public domain. So this is pre-competitive research, that the molecules we have at this stage are way too early to, to be actually thought of as money-making uh, projects, even for commercial Western diseases. What we hope that comes out of this is that we'll start to understand which targets are really important, not just for parasitic infections, but also bacterial infections. So not just the infections that will be altering the lives of children in Africa, which is my day job, uh, but looking at the infections which will alter the lives of you and me in Europe.